Well, his parents say his smile could light up a room. We're talking about 17 year old Mignon Jackson. He was a Green Oaks High School football player shot and killed two weeks ago while driving home from practice on I-220. Well, tonight, KSL News 12's Destiny Patterson sat down to talk with his family and they want justice for their son. You never think it would be your child. Never, never. I couldn't imagine it. Monique Jackson Miller says August 26 started just like any other day. Well, I went to work like usual. Um, me out with the practice. He was driving my daughter's car. But it ended in a tragedy. I don't know why they killed him. Maybe a mistake. I really don't know. But it all boils down. I see my son made a whole impact, not just on his friends at school, the whole city of Shreveport. I don't actually think he was targeted. I think it was a mistaken identity. So, they thought he was someone else. Even though the Shreveport Police Department have two suspects in custody for Mignon's murder. I feel the same. Hurt. I'm never going to see my son again. His mom says that's just not enough. I want to know, did they catch the killer? Did he do it? Suspects, you can, it's just a suspect. So, we just want justice for my son. And it hurts me every day, every single day that, I, that my son ain't here. I even I get up crying. And I lay down crying. She says she thinks the killers mistook Mignon for someone else, but she's trying to forgive them. The only guy can help us now get through this. So we just try to take it day by day. Reporting in Shreveport, Destiny Patterson, KSLA News 12. His parents say they are working on forgiving the killers, but they are grateful for all the support from their community. Well, tonight, 20 year old Colby Moore and 20 year old Latravion Anderson remain in jail. Police claim they both played a role in that fatal shooting. They both face second degree murder charges. You can find updates here on air and on the KSLA News 12 mobile app once we learn more about their first appearance in court.